water temperature and bass fishing, two things that go together despite all the technology that's out there with all these crazy fish finders, you can see all the bottom, bass boats, you can go super fast, uh, super mo high modulus rods, all this stuff. Water temperature and bass fishing, something that you need to pay attention to, but is not as important as most people think. I, I hear it all the time. You know, people are, are saying, oh, exactly what's the water temperature? What, you know, like, like the, it's gonna be a light switch, like the fish can just automatically adjust one way or the other. There are a few key times of the year where water temperature is very important, you need to pay attention. One of those is in the springtime. In the springtime, not the pre-spawn, I could almost care less in the pre-spawn. The only time is in like that winter time to pre-spawn transition period. It's gonna be, that water temperature is gonna be going from the 40s to the 50s. That's an important important uh, transition. When that water's down in the mid 40s, that's jerk bait time of year. That's uh, spoon silver buddy. If it once it gets to the upper 40s, 50 range, then shallow cranking. Those fish are gonna be a lot shallower. Uh, you know those kind of things would are gonna gonna. But dude, there is not a steadfast rule there in that range of a certain degree water temperature. It, it is a range, just something to watch for. But in the springtime, as it warms up, that water temperature gets into the 50s, goes into the upper 50s. What you need to pay attention to is the, the base temperature of the lake. Now, you put your boat in first thing in the morning, you out a lot to the middle of the lake, that temperature of the water is what matters. That temperature right there. Whenever that gets to be 60 degrees or, or 58 degrees, 58 to 60 degrees, 58 is really the key number. 58 degrees or more in that base lake temperature, those fish are gonna be going on beds. That pretty much holds, holds true above Florida and, and, and north. You know, I mean, here in Virginia to, to Texas, I mean, anywhere in, in, that you go in the US that you have that water temperature where you put that base lake temperature first thing in the morning, it's 58 degrees or more, that's when those fish are gonna be starting to spawn. If it goes above that, you know, it gets into the low 60s, mid 60s, you can guarantee there's some spawning activity going on. And depending on how long it's been at that temperature will depend on how long those fish are gonna spawn. So that is, a, that is my, my biggest time that I look at the water temperature. After the spawn, I could care less about a water temperature gauge for the rest of, I mean, there's, you know, 99% of the time, I could care less until we get back into that wintertime uh, mode. Uh, all fall, I really could kind of care less. Top water is gonna be a factor. Even into the water temperature getting into the upper 50s, top water is still gonna play. Don't let the air temperature fool you. Pay attention to the water temperature. Until that water temperature dips down below 50 degrees, then you know that those wintertime patterns are gonna be coming back out and, and being more prevalent. So don't pay attention to the water temperature gauge as much as you might think. I've seen it numerous times in like that early springtime that the area of the lake with the coolest water is the most productive. You, you know, like the most, you know, checks in a tournament come from that area or whatever factor you wanna say, the most biggest fish, the biggest bags, whatever you wanna call it, come from the coolest part of the lake. I've seen it uh, numerous times. So don't run around in the springtime looking for the warmest water thinking that's the deal. That ain't the deal. Fish, let the fish tell you where they are, what they're doing. Only use the water temperature to gauge on how you're, you're gonna catch them. And there's only, as I mentioned, a couple instances where that really makes a big difference. Uh, there's a few other you know, specialty techniques that, that maybe a water temperature is a little bit of a factor, but again, not as big of a deal as you might think. So go fishing, have fun. Don't worry about the water temperature.